What's up, YouTube? What it is? Oh man, we've been working. Everybody else has been at RBD all mm. weekend at what Hawk Pride. What have we been doing? We've been doing Comanche things. That's what we've been doing. Choop, 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 so, choop, what we're doing choop, right now choop, 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 is uh, we got to make sure we got the fuel pump hooked up the right way, mm -hmm. wired up the right way. Because it has no instructions on it yeah. whatsoever. Um, and if all that checks out, we're gonna try to fire, fire this thing up. Fire it up. We're gonna try to start this thing up. <laughs> Country bunking <bucket>, day. <laughs> we got a little bit of fuel in her and a little bit of fuel on her. Yeah, yeah, we're a little on the high side. Yeah, here. Casey pouring gas all over the place. Hey, that was the first time I ever used the VP fuel can, <laughs> and uh, I learned I, I learned a valuable lesson today. Yeah, don't pour it all over top of the fuel cell or in the bed. <laughs> Hey, at least I ain't in the cab. So what, we got the battery hooked up? Yeah. So what we gotta do now, just... Twist some wires. All right, well, let's... <clears throat> let's show the people Fire how. Across. Here we go, this is, uh... We're about to key on right now. Uh, if it's backwards, then it would have been pushing, but I guess there's no fuel to push, it would just... Can you not do that? That's you can't hear anything on the camera when you're doing it. Jesus. Try it. Hold on. Uh, we did confirm that the starter works. All that stuff's wired up correctly. Yeah, uh, we have a uh, three quarter and a nineteen. I'm glad that thing didn't charge. Quick way to hide us from mess. What'd you do? I forgot these ends wasn't tight. Oh my god. All right, I was wrong about the three-quarter. It's 11-16. Or 13-16. I don't know, it might be smaller than that. It's smaller than a three-quarter or bigger? Let's try that one first. What? The one, the 13-16. It's bigger than a three-quarter? No, it's smaller. Okay, then 11-16. Yeah, that's what I meant. I meant to do this the other day. I think we're going to find out about a lot of things on this here rig. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I don't think we've used the tool to tighten a single thing yet. Nope. Everything's been like, well, we'll get that later. But we don't even have a nut on the shackle back here. No nut on that. Pretty sure. All right, flip point jet out. Yeah, no nut on that. That side's not tight. Uh, mm-hmm. No nut on that. He needs about a thousand, twelve hundred dollars worth of hardware to finish this thing up. Did you pick that fuel oh, man? there she is. Let her go. Yeah, the other two are the starter. Huh? That's the starter. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get a piece of cardboard. Just in case I need to. Oh, shut it down. Choke this thing out. <laughs> in a hurry. Ah, you're in. Go ahead. It went up to like 25, but then it falls back down. Yeah. I wonder if them hoses are backwards. Question is, is the fuel pump coming on? Wait, crank in. Yeah, I don't know. All right, so <coughs> we got fuel pressure, but we don't have enough pressure and it doesn't hold pressure. So we're gonna, mm -hmm, we're gonna break this intake manifold. <laughs> we're gonna pull the, the fuel rail up with the injectors, key on by plugging it, twisting those wires together and see if an injector spraying just from keying on. Cause we don't want to hydrolock this thing. Yeah. I heard that he did that on purpose because he's under the 6 0. I don't know if that's true or not. That's just what I heard. That sounds about right. <laughs> well, you want to go turn the switch on? Yeah, I'll see what happens. You ready? Yep. All right, well. Got to be a fuel pump. Ah 
Must be the fuel pump. Oh, why can't something go right? Give me my crop back. Oh, okay. Here's an update. So, we don't have enough fuel pressure, and it doesn't hold fuel pressure. We did confirm that we have spark after we hooked up the crank sensor, um, because that wasn't hooked up before. <laughs> what we're going to try now is the fuel pump isn't marked in and out so there's a possibility that it was plumbed backwards and wired backwards if that's even a thing we're not sure but he's gonna flip it around rewire it replumb it real quick and then we're gonna try this again what do you think the percentage is that this is gonna work the percentage yeah man i'm real optimistic right now okay real optimistic I'm 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 gonna say probably about eighty five percent chance this is gonna work. You think so? Yeah. Oh right. Are you lower than that? Because you said you were real optimistic. I'm optimistic about it not working. Oh, I thought you was about to hit me with like a ninety five. No. Oh, no. okay. I see. Where your confidence in my skills and abilities lie. Are you gonna try this or not? Let me get out of the floor first. Moment of truth. Nothing yet. Yeah, it's pulling backwards. It's why <laughs> it's, it's pulling gas back. <laughs> and possibly a little bit of Mountain Dew. This ain't gonna fucking run. Shoo, it might have a couple cavities. <laughs> it might have a couple cavities in there, but I bet she's gonna fire off. <laughs> I ain't built no pressure now. It's gotta That's, be a dud. I guess just a bad pump. Okay, we're back. Um, the last thing you saw was uh, we pretty much determined that the fuel pump was dead. The new fuel, fuel pump wasn't dead. We flipped it around, rewired it, no change. Um, so I left, Casey stayed to pull that fuel pump off and made the amazing discovery that the pinch off tool got left on the fuel line. So, <laughs> so if the pinch off got left on, then we weren't going to get no fuel. We weren't going to so. get no fuel. Took it off, run it a couple of times. We hit 46 PSI. So, and I did put the pinch off tool on there, but Casey told me to do that and he never told me to take it off. So <laughs> I'm not taking, never can take responsibility. I'm not taking the full, I'm not taking the full responsibility for that. I'm like 25% okay. responsible. All right, we'll let you roll with it. Yeah. I mean, I did have the idea to flip the fuel pump around. So, I, you know, I guess I have to do it all, <laughs> but we're going to check this thing, make sure the injectors are all spraying. If so, bolt the fuel rail back down and hit the key. And by hit the key, I mean twist the wire together. <laughs> all right, so we replaced all four of these injectors because they weren't spraying. And we'll, did you replace that one or just cleaned it out? I'll take it out and cleaned it. We cleaned, yeah, I mean. cleaned one injector on that side. We robbed these four from our neighbor who doesn't watch these videos, so <laughs> he'll never know. That wasn't too bad. No. I think we're getting better at this. No. <laughs> I don't see nothing. All right, so now what do we like? Cooling system, power steering, finish up the wiring, bolt up the torque converter, I wish I measure there. for drive shafts. <laughs> yeah, pretty much everything, yeah. Finish the interior, build a center console, mm -hmm. mount the shifters. Yes. Plumb the brakes. Yes. 
So we kind of started trying to lay out the shifters and the brake and the transfer case shifters and it's gonna be a tight fit. Be tight. What do we have here? Rust does have some pretty BA stuff. I'm trying not to cut fire off. You ain't gonna cut nothing off that knife. This thing right here is sharp enough to cut hot butter. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I Ow. believe that. Shoot. <laughs> and we're gonna have to go look and see some instructions. This is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be like a like a kid on Christmas time putting a Lego set together. <laughs> If you're gonna be like a kid on Christmas, I'm gonna be like the dad going, do not open that until we're ready to put it together. You're gonna lose all the pieces. <laughs> it's still, yeah, it's uh, we're probably still two months away from pulling this thing out of here. You think? It's December 1st. I bet this thing don't leave this garage on its own power until middle of February. That's my prediction. The middle of February? Mm-hmm. It's taking you a year to put axles under it, an engine, a transmission in it. Yeah, but take I mean, the interior. There's out. a lot of stuff that was in yours. <laughs> Don't put that on me. I did that all by myself. <laughs> mm -mm. Like if I could cash in all the favors, and be done in a weekend. Yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah. They was like, oh yeah, let's have a wrenching party. Let's get in there and get yeah. that thing knocked out. And then it's like, hey man, what y'all doing this weekend? You know who you oh, are. Um, well, we're going to ride. Yeah. Well, you see, my brother's. A uh, hamster is getting pretty old. <laughs> you know, they're talking about, you know, this might be its last weekend, so you know, we're going to have a dinner for it. <laughs> That's the excuses that I would get. That's it for this video. I, uh, you got to hear it run. Yeah, that's. You amazing. got to see us monkey around with the fuel system a lot and <laughs> open some that. boxes, so. <laughs> oh, I hope you feel as good about this as we do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching, and like always, maybe one day we'll see you out on the trail. Peace. It's hard way up here. That's a short bolt. That's a long bolt. Yeah, I gotta fix that. Have you?